Yo, Waka Flaka here with a quick Waka Flaka explain in regards to PTA and Blade of the Rune King and why people go Blade of the Rune King when they play PTA. And I'm also going to cover some other things too and show some different things to help you guys understand the interactions here and why Blade of the Rune King is an example where it's such a great first item with PTA and also Lethal Tempo. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good morning, evening, night, whichever one fits, shit like that. And are you guys doing good at the moment? And ahead <laughs> i don't know what to say but yeah okay let's get started right i'm gonna cover the basic stuff also because it adds context right pt three auto attacks three and then it deals some damage 81 as an example here and then makes them vulnerable to x amount of damage layer right and then we have lethal tempo six stacks and then you get additional range Right, boom, 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 easy PC. So the difference here is lethal tempo gives you extra range and PTA gives you um, damage, right? And what's nice with lethal tempo in most situations and something that people take for granted now or don't really think about is these past seasons has brought a lot of mobility into the game, right? And that's kind of made PTA a bit more difficult to use, especially with like regular builds, because you are lacking mobility. You would have to go like Gale Force or something, right? And Lethal Tempo, I think, was added or changed because of this reason too. Because you get extra range, it makes up for the Gale Force charge, you know, or if people flash or dash or something. You have that extra range to like keep up. So say as an example, if you're attacking with Lethal Tempo, and then you get the extra range, right? And then even if they flash or something, you'll still have the range to attack them when they jump from them one spot to the next one, right? Whereas with PTA, when you do the free auto attacks or however many you do, if they flash something, you're not going to get extra range. So you need some kind of tool to get closer, right? So what better then than Blade the Rune King? Okay, Blade of the Rune King. Of the Rune King. Because after you do the, your first free auto attacks with Blade the Rune King, what happens? You get extra moon speed. To so say within this time period here, they use flash or something, yeah, or a dash, gale force, whatever it may be. Then after these three attacks here, you get the movement speed, right? And that will help you catch up to the next person. Whereas if you're playing lethal tempo, that might not be as critical because you have the extra range maybe at that point, right? So the Blade of the Rune King kind of compensates for the like lack of range. But also at the same time, the damage of Blade of the Ring King is really good. Early game. Especially the synergy, right, with the additional damage proc. That's magic. I've said before that I like going with Send, but it's undeniable that Blade of the Ring King is also very good. Especially because the damage is very good, you know? And during the first three attacks, it's going to do more damage than Kraken, even at earlier stages. Because people won't have as much armor then, right? So the pass passive is going to be really good. Where there was 8% of current health, right? So it's going to be very effective at early stages. And also, as I mentioned in my last video about Kraken Slayer, is that Blade of the Rune King applies to everyone, right? As opposed to just the first target. So uh, that's also like another reason why Blade of the Rune King, King, <laughs> King can be good in comparison to Kraken. And it also gives attack speed, which is a stat Twitch needs, and also AD. Right. So, one of the biggest reasons for this Blade the Rune King thing is just because it synergizes really well with PTA. Whereas if you go Kraken, and something you'll notice a lot is that people will run away sometimes. And your kill potential or kill threat is going to be a lot higher when you have some additional movement speed, right? Like, which is why also Gale Force might be a good option, even if you are not looking for uh, the dash to like get away. Also, the range increase you can get, you know, like approach your target. It's also very helpful. But that's why Blade of the Rune King is really good with PTA. Because it gives you that moving speed to make up for the loss of attack speed or attack range, you know? Because unfortunately we're not Senna and we don't get a slow buff on our Q when we change runes, <laughs> right? Like they do. So uh, this is one of the reasons why you would, would take Blade of the Rune King first. Because you get the range or moving speed increase, right? And then that helps you keep up with the target if they run away. And also the additional burst damage, right? It's just 
all around a very good item. And paired with, as I said, PTA, it kind of like makes up for the loss of range that you have with Lethal Tempo. And that's also like another reason why other items might be picked with Lethal Tempo as an example, Kraken first. Because you might not need the additional um, burst. And you also don't get to utilize the burst as much because you are not using PTA, right? So that's just one of the reasons then why PTA with Blade Rune King first is a good option and why most people are doing it. And I would recommend to do it yourself if you're going to play PTA because I do really think Blade Rune King first into Kraken is probably the best option. Although, of course, Kraken first is viable. And just as a last note here to add, PTA has always been good, if not better, than Lethal Tempo since Season 9. It's just a bit less fun to play at times. Lethal Tempo is always more fun, you know. But it's been undeniable that PTA has always been a very solid rune. And it's not something that just appeared now. And Blade Star hasn't been something that's appeared now. Right? So this is something that's always been in the game. But I, I, I've not played a lot of PTA because I don't like it that much, you know. But it is nice to get the additional damage and it's definitely very noticeable. So if you are going PTA, as I said, then I would recommend going Blade into Kraken as an example. And then Lord Dominic or uh, some other item. But I'm not going to go into that anymore here. I'm going to stop it here. That's why you get Blade the Rune King to proc the movement speed to compensate for the loss of attack range. Attack range. Anyway. Yeah. Hope you guys continue to have a good morning, evening, night, whichever one fits shit like that. This has been a Waka Flag I explain. Hope you guys take care and have a good one. Peace. Bye.